Let's talk about file organization. Now, this is a topic I'm actually pretty passionate about because I feel like in today's day and age, if you want to be successful as a full-time creator, it's brutally important to have all of your files organized for maximum productivity and workflow. Not to mention, you want to collaborate with other people in your field. It's pretty much mandatory to have all of your files organized to be able to pass on to another person. You know, there's nothing worse than opening up a project with a bunch of missing files, whether it be audio files, video files, logos that are missing. It's just the worst thing in the world. So you have to make sure all of your files are organized and put into the right places. Keeping your files organized is also just pretty common practice or so not just lost in like the tsunami of random files on your computer. This way it's much easier to find things when you need them and I think just overall you're much more coordinated with your computer. Just like staying organized in real life, you know, if you have like a clean and tidy room, it's easier for you to find things, you know, you feel like you're more productive in that space. Whereas if you worked in like a pigsty or something like that, then it's just harder to get things done and like stuff is everywhere and you can't focus and you trip on something, you know, it's just overall harder to work on. Now, before I show you guys how I personally organize my files for video projects, I want to give you guys just two really quick tips about or two really quick tips on how I personally like to keep my files organized most of the time, like 90% of the time. So the first tip I have for you guys is to not leave your video projects till the very last minute to edit. Now, I know this may seem a little bit off track, but hear me out. So when you leave a project to the very last minute, you're less inclined to organize all of the files you downloaded from the internet. So whether it be sound effects, uh, video assets, or just graphical assets, when you're in a rush, your main focus is to get the edit finished and not really about file organization. But when you do your edits periodically throughout the week or month, then every time you edit a new segment and you need something online, you download it and you're not as rushed so you have more time to just kind of organize everything and put things in the right places. Second tip I have for you guys is that you can actually change the download location of where your Google Chrome downloads go. This way, when you're working on a project, you can actually redirect the downloads to go straight into your project folder. So this way, every time you download a new sound effect, a new graphic, or whatever you guys are downloading for the project, it goes straight to that folder and you know, there's less like moving around and like trying to find all the different folders and drag and put it in place. At least everything that you have and everything that you need is in one folder and if you want to and if you guys feel like organizing it in the future, you guys may do so yourself. Honestly, file organization is basically a habit. It'll probably take you guys a couple of weeks or months to kind of develop the habit of um, just dragging things into the right places as soon as you download them online. And now, finally, I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my computer for all of my video projects. All right, so now we're currently in our YouTube folder. So this is all of the YouTube videos I have filmed and we're gonna go into camera basics one. So as you guys can see here, I have four different other files. I have audio, graphics, project files, and video. Going into the first one, my audio file, I have my A-roll, so this is like the audio I film off my microphone. So the audio quality is a little bit better than the one that comes out of the camera. I have my background music and then I have sound effects. So moving one over to the right, this is my graphics folder. So anything graphical related, I would drag that into here. So things such as like I have this anime transition pack that I downloaded. Um, I have like these, I think letters. Yeah, I use these letters for the intro for that video. Um, I have some film grains. So just anything like graphical related. I don't really know how to describe it, but this is just kind of a workflow that works for me. Um, if there's any logos from a client or whatever, um, this is where it would go as well. I had some photos in that video, like some photo examples. So this is where I dragged everything for that. I have my Instagram call to action, uh, this topographic animation that I made. I also have like some thumbnail ideas. So these are just like inspiration I got from my thumbnail that I found online. Moving one more over to the right, this is a project files. So this is where the Premiere project file lives. So. Um, every time you start a new project, you obviously have a project file. So this is where I put that. And if I were to do any other kind of effects, uh, more like thumbnail work, like After Effects or Photoshop files, I would drag that in here as well to kind of have everything together. I don't have any thumbnail work here because I do all my thumbnail work on my Mac for now. 
Also, any type of like final renders, I will put that in here as well. So I have two different versions of the final render. And then just to have everything together, I just put them in here as well. Moving one more over to the right, this is my video file. So anything that's video related. I have my A-roll and B-roll. So A-roll is basically just like me talking right now. This is just A-roll and B-roll is all of like the super fancy cinematic stuff you guys are used to seeing on my channel. So A-roll, B-roll. This is not supposed to be here, but yeah, it's okay. And yeah, that's pretty much how I structure the video files for each individual project. Um, I think this is actually a pretty common way throughout filmmakers. I know a lot of my friends structure their videos like this as well. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something new about how I structure my videos and especially if you're a beginner. You know, when I was a beginner, I didn't really know how to do any of this. I kind of had to figure everything on my own. But I hope you guys learned something new and yeah. Anyways, that's going to be everything for me today. I hope you guys took something from today's video. And if you guys enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.